This is my first figure painting. Um, I finished it I think December 1st or 2nd or sometime early December and I left it in the studio and it was kind of in a dark spot and so since it was, wasn't getting uh, sunlight the painting darkened quite a bit so um, I brought it home and I have kept it by the window and it's brightened up a lot but I think it still has a little bit um, of a ways to go. So at Ravenswood we start the figure paintings with doing a transfer drawing and when I was doing this transfer drawing I really wanted to rush through it so I could get to painting since this was going to be my first figure painting and I was really excited. So the first day I really rushed through it and I ended up um, with a really weak gesture and Matt and Magda told me to get a fresh sheet of paper and to just start over which when they told me that I was really discouraged because I, I haven't had to start anything over before um, but then so I got my paper and I started it again the next day and I really took my time and I really focused on the gesture and I got a lot more strong and accurate gesture so um, at the time when they told me to start over I felt like such a failure but um, no it, it was it was fine, it was good in the long run because I really got a, a much stronger gesture. So then um, to transfer the drawing onto the canvas, we take tracing paper and paint to get it on there and then we start the painting. And as far as the painting goes, um, and honestly, well some things felt really weird with painting and some things felt really natural. Um, and I painted a lot before I started Raven's Foot. So, um, but the way that I painted before is a lot different than the way that they're teaching me how to paint, so that felt weird with um, just working with the paint, felt a lot different. Before I painted um, with a lot of thin layers and a lot of um, fullering the paint together and a lot of glazes and that type of thing. Um, the things that I was surprised that came really natural was um, things like holding the paintbrush, um, and that's because the first two years of drawing at Ravenswood, it's really about uh, how you hold your pencil and how you hold your charcoal and it's all working towards how you're going to hold that paintbrush. So the things that came pretty easy was how I was um, directly applying the paint and holding the paintbrush and um, it, just getting the paint on the canvas more accurately that way. But the way of painting was so much harder <laughs> than what I was used to because I think before I relied a lot on over blending things to make things look good. But the way that they're teaching me to paint now is like putting a stroke down and one beside it and not um, not focusing on blending but being accurate from the start with having things optically blend. And so this way of painting, um, it's a lot more engaging and it takes a lot more focus. But it's harder but honestly it also feels more freeing at the same time. And it's a lot more fun too because you're putting down, um, or you, you're using a lot of paint, which I think is more fun than using just um, really thin glazes. And I'm pretty happy with how this painting turned out, being that it's my first one. Uh, my last figure drawings, though, um, I felt like I could be a lot more subtle and show a lot stronger structure than what I'm getting with this one right now. But I know in painting, um, you can be a lot more subtle. Um, with paint than you can with drawing. I just need to, um, well there's a learning curve that I just need to figure it out so I can't wait till I get to that point. Um, and then I took a picture at the end of each day starting from the transfer drawing and then working through the painting so I have a time lapse.